What is your suit? Uh, oh, that's your friend, Ronald Abramovich. Are you from Joburg? I was born in Joburg. And that's a really lady that's around. He's not a pussy. Disrespectful, Tom, isn't he? No, he's a, he's, a, he's a world's best snooker player, yeah. uh, and this one was That's why. <laughs> Alex Olikoniggins, yeah. this is the man, of and course. that's Jimmy Weldwin White. Jimmy White? Nice that's why, very nice to meet okay. you too. He said he do, he's, a, he's got really, um, he appreciates a free champagne, and if there's any more, he would really have it. <laughs> he's got Alan Norman in the bottle for you. <laughs> <laughs> Send it over. <laughs> yeah, we pay for all our champagne. He had what he's got to have, and he said, "The usual." Look at me. Tell me, he said, "There's no need for you to go." I said, "Where are you going?" He said, "Go." I go to the casino. I touch this, but I said to her, look, uh, I'm playing Dark City for a while, I don't know if you know. Remember John Street, Red Ring? He didn't like you, uh, it's not a problem. Anyway, I'm going to be there. I took the bed with the expense of all the time. Going star on table, and before it started, my 25th birthday, big fucking cake in the shape of a single table. That's nice. Look at that side. Do you remember that, that old TV program? When the girl was something and something deceased. Yeah. <laughs> it was football to do an accident. We go back to the hotel, which is near the station. We were watching this dark program. About two detectives. The moon's wearing the lights straight through. I run back to the hotel. She still asleep. The bunny girl. <laughs> Let them out. What about your cake? Let them out on the cake. I hope you enjoy it. Show me a friend. Bang for the Manchester. Bless the Lord for these gifts which we are about to receive. May we be eternally thankful. Thank you. You may eat. Are you a, a religious man, Kevin? No. <laughs> I just like eating, but I like to get that over with early because it's good. Bon appetito. Same block of flats. But it's nice. It costs nothing to say grace. You want to That's probably why you do it. Alex, it is make, Alex making faces at me. I don't know why. Alex, where's your starter? <laughs> want to buy the, the film rights to your book? Are you interested? I can handle the deal. I can get rid of him. Come on, I'm not that bothered. No, I don't. No, it was settled in Limerick in euros. What's he telling He knows it was. Are you saying no? He <laughs> can't say no. Alex. That was settled yeah, in Limerick. On, on camera, have you ever had anyone over? What's this? What's this? Tommy, Tommy, on camera to live. Have you had anyone over? Not anybody that I know of, no. In, a liar closes their eyes. Do you owe Alex money? No, I don't owe Alex. I settled it. I settled it, Alex, in Limerick. He actually thinks. He's got a loaf of bread and he's got all these knives from all the other chalets and all these seagulls are flying around which now I've gone back there to Bolivar, you can see. And he's throwing the fucking bread and he's knobbing these knives as these seagulls. Right? So me and Mio are watching for about 10 minutes. Yeah, he's off his head. He's fucking nuts. Mio's going, well, we know that anyway. He's fucking nuts. But can't he play? He's our hero. No. 
I've got there, but I've gone. Alex is Jimmy. We met about a year. I mean, 13, 14. He's um, how old is he for me? 14 years or something? 49. Uh, he's 29, 28. 28, 29, so he's a man, isn't he? So he's gone, listen boys. Dingle. But he's I'm trying, to, trying to spear him with the knife. Too bright, Alex. Too bright. I don't know. Tell me, tell me. Alex knows. Right. Alex knows. Right. I'll resettle him if you're not happy. The film might have more than that, Alex. It's only six, he's leaving them 200 good tips. Why? Kevin, take that, get a one out and out on the way. Okay. <laughs> Just pass it down to me, I'll settle it. <laughs> Alex will pay it. Oof. <laughs> now leave it, Tommy does things like that. Don't touch it. Yeah, give it to me, give it all to Alex, me. Alex, don't sound fighting with Tommy. Alex, don't sound fighting with Tommy. He, he knows what he's doing. He was the next boxer. Well, who wanted this? <laughs> hey, he fell down the disused well. Tom, you all right? You got the table. It's been a fantastic yeah, honour to you, for you, to bring Uri Canalba to us and have him in our company this evening. He even threw a punch at me, which I think is lovely. Eight cockles off a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, come on, baby. 